Hi and welcome back to It's a Miracle Beauty. My name is Brandy and this is Tuesday. Every Tuesday we do do Makeup Minutes. So this is short blurbs with specific topics. So I've done favorites. Um, I need to do some more fails because I don't honestly have a ton of fails. So that's kind of a video I have to kind of collect things for a little while. Um, and today I, I kind of want to do something I haven't done yet for Makeup Minutes. Something that has been on my noggin but I haven't done yet. So this is a way to get glowy skin. To have glowy skin when you have dry skin with a matte foundation. So that's something that doesn't always kind of come up. But also just to be able to use matte foundations with dry skin. So I realize it's kind of, you know, is to a certain population of people who have dry skin. However, I think a lot of these products are actually geared toward, not all of them, let me see. Some of them are geared toward oily skin, but I'm showing how you can make them work and look stunning with dry skin. So the first thing I want to say is when I am going to use a matte foundation and I have dry skin, it's all about how I prep my skin. I use a very, very concentrated moisturizer. Typically, I like Dramatically Different by Clinique. I have the purple um, like serum in it, and I like to use that. I let it sit, I mean, probably a good half an hour to an hour before I actually put my makeup on when I'm using a matte foundation because I want it to moisturize and sink in. And then there's two primers that I use to moisturize my skin even further. And then one that helps perfect so the matte foundation doesn't look dry and icky and all those things. So my number one primer that I like when I'm using a matte foundation. In fact, this is how I panned my Fenty matte because that was way too dry for my skin and actually made it look pretty glowy and beautiful. I mean, if they didn't have a hydrating formula, I would buy that again. So it is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin. This is like a jelly um, lotion type consistency. It really sinks in and makes your skin really glowy. It doesn't make it glittery or shimmery, it's just a moisture glow. So anytime I'm using a matte foundation, I do automatically use that. It's literally part of my routine when I'm using a matte foundation. So I think that works great. If my skin's extra dry, like today it was super dehydrated, I need to increase my water intake, I've been lax on that. But when it's super dehydrated or it's winter or you know I know I'm gonna be in a dry environment, then I do use the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil by Wander. This one is great because it sinks in and it does sink into your skin really, really fast. Like it doesn't just sit on the surface and you're waiting and waiting, waiting. Like this one actually does sit for a little while. It's another item I let sink in before I do my makeup. This one blends in really fast and it doesn't make your face feel oily. It just makes it feel super moisturized and plump. And I honestly love it. It is one that I don't do every day because I am finicky about textures and sometimes the oils get on my nerves. It's it's something to do with my lupus. I, textures just really like get to me. Same with the sounds. I'm really sensitive to sound. The last primer that I wanted to mention, and this one is not a mandatory. There are other versions. In fact, thinking right away, the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty does do this similar effect. However, I have yet to find a primer that has the exact same effect. So that is the Farsali Skin Tune. So this is one that I recommend letting sit in your skin as well. And I know this is creating a long time period, but I watch videos, do whatever that I have to do. So um, to pass the time, this one, when you first put it on, it looks good. I mean, it, it looks like it's kind of doing a little blurring. It's doing a little something, something, but you can even try it on your hand at the store the next time. When you first walk in, go put it on your hand and then go do your shopping and then go back and look at it. It As it sinks into your skin, it blurs your pores, it helps smooth out texture, and it just really creates a nice canvas for your makeup. And when you're using a matte foundation, it's a lot less forgiving. It shows a lot more. So, well, in a different way, because obviously it's transparent of your texture in a different way. Luminous foundation, like highlights it, makes it show, whereas when you're dry and you use a matte foundation, it sinks into everything, and that's why. So what I'm doing is we're plumping, we're moisturizing, and then we're blurring, and then going into the foundations. I personally have not found that every single matte foundation I can use with dry skin. I struggled with the Fenty instead of, until I started using this primer. And there's a lot of matte foundations that are just really hard. If they're super matte, I pretty much can't use them. Like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, I can't use it. Um, what's the other one? There's another one that is drugstore that's very matte and works great at oily skin, but for me, it's just too much. So one I didn't think would work for me, but I actually have found again when I prep my skin the correct way is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. 
So this is snow. It's not my perfect color, so I do typically have to do adjustments with powder or bronzer or whatever. It's just a little bit of the wrong tone for me. I think it might be a little bit too neutral for me. However, it does stay forever. Like when I'm going to a barbecue or I'm going to something like that, this is what I would put on. And then I actually <laughs> worked all day wearing this in last summer and we ended up going to the beach after and it actually lasted a little while in the water and everything. So it's a pretty long wearing foundation. So one that has been my favorite and I actually need to really add this to a pan challenge because it's getting older. I think it's six to seven months old at this point. And this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. I have talked about this in a previous video. This I actually received because I got a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette from, I believe, Neiman Marcus, I'm not mistaken. And I was doing my makeup at my old house and all I did is lift like this. Like I didn't even turn it upside down. I just lifted it like this and one of the pans fell and shattered and ruined my carpet. That was a holiday palette so they were unable to get me the same palette so they offered me to pick something from the website and I did pick this and they sent it so that's really good customer service and that's why I'm mentioning it I know it's kind of a sidebar but um this one lasts forever now this one I do have trouble this shade is my summer shade it's cool ivory 1.25 I can't wear this right now I can't wear it in the winter but it's my summer shade because I got it right after summer and I still had a really good tan well good tan. I'm not a really good tan. I don't go in the sun regularly, but as I am out with sunblock on it through the summer, I build a tan. So this one, it lasts all day. This one, you do have to be careful about texture. If I don't prep properly, I can still wear it. It won't necessarily make me dry, but you can see anything on my skin, any dry patch, any texture, anything. So that's one I do just have to be a little bit more careful with, but it does last all day. Two that I really, um, one's more recent, the last two, one is more recent, one I've been using since it was released, I ordered it at release, and that one is the Dose of Colors. This one, I was shocked. So, uh, full transparency, I did not read that it was a matte foundation when I ordered it. I love Dose of Colors. I love everything that they've released that I've bought. So, when I saw this, I was like, okay, sign me up. I'm here. And the first time I used it, it looked okay. It wasn't bad. I mean, it, it honestly could have looked better, but I didn't think it was the foundation. I'm like, oh, my skin's extra dry right now. I'll use a different primer. So I actually used the Becca, I think it's the Backlight Primer, whichever one's the yellow one. I always mix those up. And my foundation was glowy and pretty and lasted through 12 hours of work. I mean, it was, it really is gorgeous. So now this one doesn't need the Touch of Soul type level moisturization. As long as I use a moisturizing primer, I can use the Fenty moisturizing, any of the Becca. Becca's are really good for dry skin. Anything moisturizing like that. And this looks glowy and great all day. If I were to have oily skin, I think I could still use this. I think you would just need to use a mattifying primer to kind of calm things down before you put it on. I don't have oily skin, that's just my opinion, um, but I think that it's matte enough. This is a satin matte as well. It's not a true matte, so your skin looks like skin. It's really nice. And the last one I've only had for, I think it's two months going on three. Since the 21 Days of Beauty, they did have this entire line on sale throughout the month for like 30% off of face products. So I did purchase the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. And I do actually have this in two shades now. This one is LP4, and I think I have LP2, I think the other one is. That's just like a little travel size. And I've been mixing them because this is just a little bit of a summer shade for me. Not even a summer shade. I, you've had any sunshade. So this one is one that kind of shocked me. So it is meant to be a matte foundation. It is uber full coverage. It like wipes out your entire life when you put it on. But... The very first time I wore it, now that I've learned all of these, I used the Touch and Soul. And when I first put it on, it was it was cute. It was definitely full coverage. Definitely, you know, looked good. About two to three hours in, as soon as I kind of, like, my skin relaxed and just, like, it all melded together, it looked gorgeous. And it got super glowy as the day went on. I mean, it was just absolutely stunning. The Wander Beauty does the same thing. They go on, they look good. And you're like, eh not my favorite and then I look in the mirror two hours later and I'm like oh that's my new favorite <laughs> so if you're not dry skin and you're looking to do a glowy foundation with something that lasts a long time I think that pure is definitely part of that game so that was my makeup minutes for this Tuesday I hope that you will like subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future makeup minutes and I hope I see you again soon